If your RV is like ours, you have two types of 12 volt lighting, incandescent and fluorescent. Even though fluorescent lighting is pretty energy efficient, LED lighting is even better, often using about a third of the power of a fluorescent light. Today, we'll show you one way to convert your RV's fluorescent lights over to LEDs. There are simpler ways to convert over to LED lights, but for our project, we've ordered the following parts. A roll of LED strip lights, bare end connectors, and silicone end caps. We'll also need the following tools and parts. A wire cutter, two wire nuts for each light, a razor knife for stripping the insulation off the wires, and a digital multimeter. Let's start by removing the cover on the fluorescent light. And now let's remove the bulbs. Next, we need to access the wires to the ballast. Our lights are low profile, so the ballast is easily accessed underneath this cover. Some fluorescent fixtures require removal of the entire fixture to access the ballast. Simply squeezing the ballast cover allows it to drop down. Of course, LED lighting doesn't require a ballast, but we do need to identify the ground and the hot lead coming into the ballast. Using your multimeter, identify the ground lead and the switched side of the power switch. Now make sure your power switch is in the off position. Now that we've identified the white wire as our ground and the black wire as our switched hot lead, we're going to cut them both. Now strip about a half to three quarters of an inch of insulation off the end of each wire. Our LED lights came in one continuous strip, 16 feet long, that can be cut about every three inches at the marks. You can see where to cut the lights into lengths where the scissor indicator is on the strip. And the strip is backed with adhesive tape for mounting. Hold your lights up to the fixture to measure the correct length for your particular light or use a tape measure. Using your wire cutters, cut directly on the scissor mark. Now cut a second strip the exact same length. Of course, only the very first piece that we cut off the roll has the factory wires on them. For the rest of them, that's where these strip connectors come in. And we have a whole bunch of them so we can make a lot of lights. Now we're going to connect our LED strip connector to our light strip. In this case, we need to peel back the silicone on the top of our lights to expose the contacts. Then we pull out the black plastic lock at the end of our strip connector. While holding the silicone back out of the way, we insert our strip lights into the strip connector. Once the light strip is fully inserted into the strip connector, press the plastic locking clip into place, locking the strip connector to the end of the lights. Different brands may have different connection mechanisms. Simply follow the instructions that come with your lights. If you want to test your light strip prior to finishing the installation, turn the power on and touch the hot and cold lead to the power. Now we'll install our silicone end caps on the end without the wires. Peel the backing tape away from the adhesive and slide the end cap over the end of the light strip. Pressing on it will make sure that it sticks to the adhesive. Using our wire nuts, we've connected the hot leads to the incoming switched power and the black leads to ground. Before we mount them permanently with the adhesive backing, let's turn them on again and see how bright they'll be and make sure that they work. Take a little rubbing alcohol and put it onto a cotton pad or swab and thoroughly clean the surface to make sure that the adhesive backing will stick. Now let's remove the adhesive backing from the lights and stick them in place. Press them firmly up against the surface to make sure that they stick. And now let's clip our ballast cover back in place and clip our light cover back in place. Now this light will use about one-third the power. 